sadaqah and a tatawwa given uh, in a charity voluntarily. Is it better to pay to an Islamic center or a da'wah center, a community center, or to give it to the poor and the needy? The person is free with his voluntary sadaqah or donation to do as he wishes based on his best judgment. There is a fundraise that the community wants to build a masjid right now, and there is an imminent need. We have to pay, uh, the, we have to settle the debt, or, or pay the payment, or to accomplish the building. So there is an imminent need here. Well, another case popped up. One sister uh, is at the hospital, and uh, no one to support her financially. She is more worthy than others. There is a family who cannot pay the tuitions to their kids at school. Or somebody who is sick, or a couple who wants to get married and do not have uh, the means. Uh, an orphan, an orphanage. There are many, many doors which are open wide for uh, goodness and righteousness, particularly the sadaqah. When the Prophet sallallahu was asked uh, about a dinar, somebody said, I have, I have some money. He said, uh, spend it on your family members. He said, I have another one. He said, spend it on yourself. He said, I have another one. He said, Dahu haythu shi'at. Give it away wheresoever you wish, as long as it is a charity. The priority, of course, is for those who are in imminent need, most or relatives, because a sadaqatu ala al qareeb, given in a charity to one's relative, you receive double reward for it. The reward of upholding the ties of the kinship or Salat al-Rahim and the reward of giving in charity. Sometimes, uh, due to what we see right now, the active campaigns of missionaries in converting Muslims, it is really terrible. If you travel as much as I travel, you go to certain parts of Africa and you see the missionary activities where there is... Uh, I believe a limited amount of fund to those missionaries. They have a great deal of fund. They are equipped with everything they need in order to convert whole villages. And uh, a lot of people, unfortunately, due to the fact that they are in need, in need for food, in need for medication and treatment, they just go by and they may convert. While we are sitting here, we're not doing much to protect our deen and to protect those who are on our deen. Some people are very active in da'wah in uh, bringing non-Muslims into Islam. Meanwhile, we see in front of our eyes uh, thousands and tens of thousands of Muslims are exiting from the deen because of the need. And these missionaries who come from Europe, particularly in the States, wheresoever I go, I find them. They pay. They pay very generously. They build hospitals and schools and they pay money. They build houses. And meanwhile, they give the Bible and convince people to uh, convert from Islam. So when we know that there is uh, one of these doors open for da'wah, we also have to support generously. This is a da'wah even though I do not say a word. I do not talk. I do not preach. But I support those who are giving da'wah and saving Muslims against conversion.